When I was born, the doctor told me that it was gonna cost millions of dollars to raise me. Like I was gonna literally need a specialist for every single thing and I would never be able to do anything on my own. So my parents decided to teach me at a very young age to adapt to the world versus the world adapting to me. And so it was with their teaching me that I can figure this out, you can do it. There's nothing really that I have come across that's hard. My name is Matt Stutzman and I'm a professional archer and today's video is to show you or talk about how to shoot with your feet. I pride myself in not having a lot of modifications because when I first started archery I wanted to be able to shoot like everyone else. I do however have one modification and it is a strap that goes around my chest and I have a release aid that goes over my right shoulder and is activated by a chin bar that goes across my face right here and back pressure. Other than that, I have no other modifications in the sport of archery. One thing that I do use that helps me in making sure uh, my form is perfect is I have a chair and it sits um, at a specific height that gives me the best angle uh, at the target at 50 meters. Um, how I do that is I sit down in my chair and I actually put my bow against my left leg and I lay my arrows on the right side of the bow. I use my right foot to grab each individual arrow, put it into the bow. Once I do that, I grab the bow with my right foot and I crisscross my legs, which brings the bow up to my chest. I then bend down and hook my release aid to the string or the D-loop that is on the bow and I sit up. It's actually a pretty good yoga pose. Then I push my foot away from my chest which essentially draws the bow and I lift my shoulder up to bring the release to my face. As I'm aiming at the target, I actually put my chin against the release aid and there's a chin bar and I activate it with a combination of pulling with my back and applying pressure with my chin. Because of my shooting style, sometimes I don't have time to let down. Um, I'm a very slow loader. It takes me a lot of time to get into my process to actually drawing the bow back. And so for me, I have to really work on speeding up that process, especially in elimination rounds when they only give you 30 seconds an arrow to shoot. So I practice at home. If I don't feel the shot is right, I will actually stay at full draw, pull my face away from my release and read a sign or pick a color or tell myself the grass is green and basically mentally reset myself. Then I come back into my release and I start my process all over again. And now that I have practiced that, I literally went from on a bad shot, eights, to most of them are tens and maybe nines. One of the biggest assets I have are my toes. I use them for everything. This big toe and the second toe, I can open them very far and I literally use them to pick up everything. From picking up my arrows to even grabbing the riser of my bow. If you also look at my foot, there's a front pad. That's actually where the majority of the pressure of the bow is while I'm aiming at full draw. After the shot breaks, it's these two toes that keep the bow from flying halfway down the archery range and keeps it planted in my foot so I can set my bow down and reload the next arrow. If you are a beginner archer who would like to shoot with your feet and you don't have a lot of dexterity, one of the things that I've done is I, I handle <laughs> small things. Um, I even practice throwing up wrenches and catching them in my toes. In fact, when I was younger, um, my mom would always tell me stories, and this is before I can remember, but I would go around on the ground and um, I would pick up um, little pieces of paper like um, like a hole punch. My sister would go around punching little holes in paper and leave those little round circles of paper everywhere and I would, I would go down and I would practice picking those little pieces of paper up. Basically what I was training my foot to do was to have the dexterity that it does now. So as a beginner archer you can practice those things. Those are going to help with flexibility. Maybe practice picking up pencils. 
um, spoons, um, pretty much anything that you can get your feet on and just practice that every day. I like to joke that dishes are hard <laughs> or changing diapers are hard, but the reality is it's not that hard, right? Um, I think for me the challenge is more people saying you can't do that when I know absolutely that I can. I think that's almost the hardest part of about this versus me running into a hard obstacle. The best thing that you can do is be open-minded about things. Be willing to try things because you're gonna have a lot of ideas that are thrown at you to try. And you never know if it's gonna work for you unless you try. Don't shut out any options. And I think that's the best way for you to succeed or even fall in love with the sport because I promise you, you're gonna have a blast because you tried all those things. And then you will find something that works for you and then the rest is history.